Hi, welcome to MOCUS. I am Dr. V. Jayalakshmi, Professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, College of Engineering, Gindi Campus, Anna University, Chennai. So, I am pleasing to introduce the course Digital Electronics and Microprocessor. It is a two credit course offered by Anna University. This course will be useful to the engineering, diploma and BSc electronics students and computer science students. Especially those who are very much interested in the embedded systems can get the benefit by studying this course. So, this course basically consists of the 12 week course. The first two weeks will give the introductions about the digital electronics. In the digital electronics, the basic number systems along with its conversions are discussed. The number system which are binary, digital, octal and hexadecimal numbers which have basic its radix value according to that how to convert between one another. That was very clearly explained. Followed with that, the microprocessor is explained with the 10 week course. The 8085 microprocessor is explained with its architecture, pins and signals, instructions, addressing modes. In the architecture, what are the registers are available? Along with that, the uh, instruction decoder, everything is clearly explained. Followed with that, how to develop the simple program for that what are the instructions are useful that also explained. Then uh, the simple program exercise were given how to develop the delay program that also very clearly explained. Followed with that how we are explaining the operand or opcode in that instructions according to that how we are classifying the addressing modes with proper example also explained. Then during the execution how according to the clock pulse how the processor executing and performing its operations were very clearly explained along with the timing diagram. So, the timing diagram which consists of the T states mission cycles. So, for each instruction how many T states, how many mission cycles are required, how to calculate the execution time for each instructions. According to that you can easily know for each program how much of time it is taking, then how to reduce the time delay for the any kind of embedded or specific applications. So, according to that it was very clearly explained the 8085. Followed with that when the processor is a plan to interface with either serial port or parallel port like in case of serial port we can use the mouse, in case of parallel we regularly using the printer right. In case of serial what are the pins or supporting ICs are available for a parallel case what are the supporting ICs are available that was clearly explained. Here in this uh, video lectures they mainly focused on 8155 and 8255 which both are the parallel communications. So, how many ports are available? The ports which indicates number of IO lines. So, this much of either 24 lines can be used as input or output. So, when it will be used as input or when it will be used as output that will be clearly explained by using the control word. So, in the control word consists of the number of modes, which mode you are selecting according to that which port you can assign for the either keyboard interfacing or LED display. So, whatever you want you can uh, easily do it. So, how to interface the processor with the peripheral devices and how to calculate the address, how to develop the control word, everything is clearly explained. After studying this course, I hope you will get the knowledge how to interface the processor with 8255. For any kind of simple applications, you can be develop this kind of uh, uh, applications. After studying this course, I hope you will get or you get the knowledge how to interface the processor with 8255. For every week we are giving some uh, self test which are in the form of uh, MCQ pattern and in, in the name of assignments. So, by checking the assignments you can get uh, the idea and our team will support at all time by the mailing you can uh, clarify any kind of doubts at every weeks or every day you will get the clarifications. Along with that we are uh, providing some assessments for 3 weeks or 4 weeks. So, based on the assessments we are providing the 30 mark as a internals and the end you have to write the exam that exam will consider as a 70 percentage. So, according to that this uh, 30 and 70 percentage we will provide the certificate. So, I hope you will get the clear idea what are the course content, how uh, the assessment will be monitored and how our team will support. I hope you will enjoy the course, wish you all the best. Happy learning.